Uh, we did one, yeah, two years ago, and uh, it was uh, very successful. We, um, we, we were in some other products at the time. We were doing some wireless technologies. And um, from that, we, uh, we brought on a couple engineers actually from URI. So uh, that's been uh, uh, worked out well and been real exciting. And uh, since then, we've evolved a little bit in, in where we're doing. We've, uh, we have a division that we were working on at the time, but um, has, uh, has really grown into focus uh, at this time. And uh, that company is uh, TSR Grow. Now, um, TSR Grow is, uh, we're a horticultural lighting solution company. So we work in, uh, um, we, we manufacture our products in the US. We work in many different uh, industries and, uh, and products. Uh, but we've worked with academia to develop uh, different uh, horticultural lighting solutions for, for growing environment uh, and, and growing, growing plants. Now that, that solution, um, primarily at the end of the day, we do a lot in lighting, but solution involves power uh, power solutions, uh, environmental controls. Uh, for those of you who, um, uh, you know, horticulture lighting and horticulture growing has, has really become a, quite the, uh, the market and, uh, and spoken to quite a bit in the, in the industry, in the field, and, and uh, cannabis has really taken a focus, but whether it's indoor growing of uh, vegetables, uh, greenhouse growing, um, horticulture solutions depend a lot on sensors, uh, environmental controls, lighting, power, uh, many number of different uh, aspects of it that get into that. And we've worked with academia to develop our solutions um, and, uh, and bring them to market um, in, in the U.S. So uh, we're real excited to, to be here and, and bring a project that, that is related to, that, to those products. Uh, you know, uh, back in just a little background on the company, we were launched in uh, 2009 uh, as a design consulting company. Um, we moved into, uh, into uh, manufacturing in 2013. We have uh, millions of fixtures out in the field. And in 2016, we launched a TSR Grow, which now we're, uh, we're growing and uh, have uh, 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 expanding a, a significant footprint and uh, well-known uh, products in, that, in the market space. Um, the market segments uh, related to growing are uh, vertical growing. Uh, indoor growing and greenhouses, and uh, all of those have different needs and requirements and aspects related to that that uh, really are important to track uh, from the light, the, the, the spectrum that the plants are getting, the, um, how everything's being sensed, uh, what's happening when, when you notice that something goes wrong, no, uh, plant health to uh, uh, light quality to, to any number of, of features that go into, into these uh, environments. Typical crops are uh, Leafy greens, uh, cannabis, tomatoes, uh, vegetables, um, and uh, we're involved in with uh, customers in all, all aspects of, of growing, growing food. Um, project motivation comes around uh, really around uh, the fixtures and lighting solutions that go into these market segments. So there's many, many different fixtures, many, many different uh, styles uh, for vertical growing. You can see that there's uh, uh, some smaller fixtures that get into vertical applications. You have some uh, bars that go into greenhouse lighting. You have some, uh, some other mid-power lighting that go into different vertical and, and other, uh, 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 other different uh, configurations. And there's multiple uh, uses for these products. So different pro crops need different spectrums that need different light, different, different focus on different features. Uh, and at the end of the day, there's really no standardized methodology for, for testing the functions or the, the features and, the, um, and really the, the aspects of the light that the plants need most. Um, the biggest thing is that humans and plants see light differently. Uh, I have a little chart here that shows basically um, you know, the, lumin the, the eye response, the lumini response, so this, this bell curve in the middle is really what our eyes see for, our, for lighting. Uh, we like to see the yellows and the oranges for, for visually uh, uh, looking at things. And then the, the dashed lines, you show the, the plant response. So they like uh, a lot of the spectrums that are maybe outside of the, of the, uh, the yellow and the green spectrums that we're used, uh, common, uh, accustomed to using for, for our purposes. The plants do use that, but they focus on some of the other spectrums. So in measuring light, uh, plants measure light in PPF. Photosynthetic photon flux, 
and humans, we, we measure light in, in lumens. And for plants, it's re really important how much of that light is actually arriving at the crop to deliver the light for the plants to grow. Um, so what, um, one of the challenges we have is that um, we have a fixture. Uh, if we send it out to a lab to get measured, you would typically get a measurement of a um, lumen or human response type measurement for that fixture, which then is very difficult and can't be translated into what the plants actually need and what the plants need to grow uh, and how they're measuring the light or taking in the light for what they're uh, going to do, which is produce the products or the crops that we uh, consume. So um, what we're looking to do is to develop our own, there not being a standardized methodology, an automated essentially data collection system of uh, that PPF and PPFD, which is uh, the light at the canopy. So PPFD is really photosynthetic photon flux Density, which is the density of the of the photons that are uh, that are penetrating the canopy and hitting the plants at their surface, um, and we want to develop the the tools and the software um, for the presentation of that data. That data is used by customers. It's used by scientists. It's used by us. It's used by you know for product development, and it's used in in all aspects of of growing. And it's the you know one of the most critical pieces that helps to define and determine how that product or that, that crop is going to grow. So we have a, we have a fixture. Um, we need to measure the light spectrum. So we, we need to measure all of the, 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 the photons that are coming off of that fixture and all of the different wavelengths, whether it be from uh, UV to, to far red. Um, and then we have to measure it at the points and we have to measure how that's uh, coming down and, and impacting and arriving at the plant. So that will, where that fixture is located and how it's located and how high from the plant will determine how much, what spectrum, if, if I'm measuring over here, the light's here, there might be some change in angle over the spectrum that's arriving at the plant. Um, and so there's many different factors that, that go into that we, that we have to measure. Um, from there, we, we create tools to tell us exactly what is arriving at the plants. So how much light, what, what wavelength, what spectrum. And then we use that to help us determine um, how we position the lights and how we promote those to our customers. So how are they going to use that light? Where are they going to position the light? What light are they going to achieve over what time and what period? And how effective are they going to be at growing their crops? Um, for this project, um, we, we've outlined um, um, what we believe are the tasks. Um, we are sure that there will be other tasks that come up. Um, this is in no way a defined list or really a defined outcome. Um, there are many ways that we know that likely could be that we can go into, uh, into, into testing this. You know, from an ELE perspective, um, how are we going to measure this? How are we going about, what kind of sensors are we going to use? How are we going to go about uh, uh, positioning those sensors? How are we going to go about um, identifying and, and implementing those sensors and that technology to, to monitor and measure the light and those, that, uh, uh, the, the PAR and the, and the spectrum that's coming off of those fixtures to, to, uh, to put them in, uh, in uh, to figure out what we have. Um, we need to configure the interface between the sensors and the data acquisition. Um, we have to obviously test and uh, implement some measurement systems um, and, and bring that together. So that could be some uh, PCB layout design, some implementation of sensors. It could be some, uh, some automation, could be buying off the shelf, shelf sensors and, and integrating that into a custom designed um, module that can, that can pull that all in. These are all, these are all we're, we're really leaving how that's done uh, how we go about doing that to, to you guys uh, as the project because that's that's something that we we need to implement and um, you know we're excited to bring 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 you guys in to, to do that for us from a CPE test um, you know we want to develop some uh, some firmware and software interface to those sensors because we need to whatever they're measuring we need to we need to measure that and and uh, pull that in and and uh, bring that into uh, a program that can capture that data 
and that data then we can use to, to uh, really tell us what's going on with that fixture and the light and, and what, what's going on at the, at the plant level so that we can tell our customers and we can tell scientists and we can tell our R&D um, team what, you know, what things they need to be developing and how they need to be improving what they're doing. Uh, we want to have an interface that can, uh, that can basically interface to what, we're, what you are developing and the, and the data that we're pulling in and uh, interface to, um, to the, uh, the firmware and the software but we also have tools that then take that data and put that into a presentation mode and present it to customers. So we need some interface to be able to take the sensor and the data that we're collecting the, uh, to the software or interface that, that we will then implement on this device to interface and pull that data into the programs we use to uh, analyze that information. So, um, and then there might be other firmware, software, uh, things that are required. Um, that go into the into the into the tasks. Um, familiarity, circuit design. Um, I don't think there's you know all of these things you have taken have have some familiarity with, and we believe are uh, you guys are really in in a, in a good position to 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 handle and and uh, do well and achieve achieve this program, and we're we're really excited to to bring you guys in to do that. Uh, familiar with circuit design on the ELE. Um, you know, Raspberry Pi, uh, previous presentation measured, uh, mentioned Raspberry Pi, Arduino. You know, having familiar, familiarity with, with those things, I think, could be a benefit and, and, and maybe, maybe a tool that we use, I don't know, that, that we use to capture the data and integrate the sensors and, um, and bring some of those, uh, the information into the system that we're, we're looking to develop. Um, on the CPE, low-level programming, some web UI, um, you know, from a machine perspective, um, Python, some other, um, some other scripts, um, and maybe some, uh, you know, some 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 interface language that uh, that can take that. Uh, likely some some database programming to pull all the information and categorize it and store it and 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 track everything that we're collecting. Um, so. Uh, a little bit of everything, and, um, uh, and, and uh, I think um, there's a lot of open opportunities to give, um, you know, and just to give you an idea, so, you know, a fixture could be uh, a four-foot fixture, could be a small fixture, could be high, could be low, so we have to be very, the, the, the range of accommodation for, for what kind of space that we have to measure in uh, is, is, uh, is significant. We, we may map out an area that uh, we're looking to map in a, in a two or four foot area, square foot area, up to a 10 by 20 square foot area. So there's a, a good challenge on developing a system that is flexible to also achieve all of this in a wide range of uh, product um, configurations. So let's get growing. And um, we look forward to working with you and, um, you know, uh, answering any questions and uh, bringing you on. And I think, um, you know, uh, if, if all goes well, we, we may have some spare lights to grow basil in your basement. <laughs>